Hi there, thanks for joining me. In this short video demonstration we're going to take you through how to use Tableau with Esri ArcGIS with Map Intelligence as the integration medium. I've come into a Tableau app here. Uh, it's related to fast food data over the Sydney region in Australia. You can see we've got a point layer which is outlets of fast food and they're currently themed by um, type of fast food, so the name of the chain, Burgers House, Emma's Cakes, so forth, those little triangles. Then we've also got the local government area polygons themed by the average salary in those areas. And as you can see with the darker green up in this area, there's higher average salary than in these areas down here. We'll turn the legend off and bring our map control legend up. What we might do first is we've got our outlets, but we've got them categorized in two different ways. So we've got a by category and by name. So if we switch those over, you can see the points change. If we expand that out again, we can see a different version of the legend here. What we might do is turn off the average salary at this stage so we can stay focused on the points. Because what I wanted to do is show you the responsiveness between map intelligence updating the map and actions in Tableau. So if you apply a filter in Tableau, so if we go over to this Tableau chart, which is driving the points, and say we want burgers, you can see the map's updated already to that. Flip across to pizza, again, changed very quickly, and over to chicken, and you can see the map updating very quickly as we make the changes in Tableau. If we take the filter off, the map goes back to the whole amount of data. we select burgers again and then say we want to add chicken chicken to that um, you can see the data is updated in the map so it's very fast and responsive we can also use the map to filter points back into Tableau so if I choose a selection option here and say I want to grab these ones here let the mouse go it's filtered into Tableau and then zoomed right into the map zoomed right into where we selected those few points. And if I click on one of these points, we'll get the pop out, out from the left hand side, saying the location address and also running a Tableau chart in the pop out related to that particular point. So you can see we're very fast and responsive there. What we might do now is step back out a bit to a wider area of Sydney and focus on the LGAs. So we can see we've got still got all the LGAs there because they're coming from a different data set in Tableau. And we can do much the same sort of thing with the LGAs. I'll just turn the outlets off. So we can control the layers, turning them on and off independently. We've got our LGA layers there and this um, legend, this chart table down the side here drives the LGAs. So if I click on Bankstown, we just filter down to the Bankstown area. If I click on Botany Bay, we'll jump across to Botany Bay. Uh, click on Camden, again we'll jump across to there. If we want to expand those and say let's include a number of them together of the Botany Bay, I want to add um, just scroll down a little bit and add in Sydney. So you can see we can add these in very quickly and the map is very fast and responsive. Uh, one last one up there we might add is Karingai. And the, and the chart table legends updating as we are bringing areas in with different average salaries. So that's just to give you a short demonstration of, of map intelligence integrating Tableau with ArcGIS server layers. Here we've used the LGA layer which is now ArcGIS server. Um, Tableau is generating the points that we showed. We're using an Esri based tiled map and if we're doing geocoding or other functions like drive time or routing we'd be calling ArcGIS online services. Thanks for your attention.